Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our employability live stream. Once again, we're back with another really exciting topic. Um, I'm here with Sam from Turnheads and yes, I'm Wendy from Grab Prentice. And today we're going to be discussing a, a topic that I think will be really relevant for us in 2020. Uh, sorry, 2021, I'm still a year behind, which is bad. Um, so basically it's all about how to stay engaged with your career uh, growth in 2021. So how do you stay engaged with your career growth in 2021? Now for me, 2021 has been um, even though it's just been a week and we're in our second week, but already I can see how uh, 2021 is going to work for the benefit of all of us out here who are really looking for growth. And I think a lot of collaboration is going to be happening in 2021. And to really stay engaged, I think really getting to know, you know, every kind of avenue that's opened up in 2021 of what people are doing, how people are staying engaged, what people are talking about. I think it's really, really important that you make the time to do some investigation so that you come up with some kind of a plan, some kind of a strategy that will put you in a position that every month or every other month you are doing something about making sure you're putting a focus on your career growth. Now I've got a few sort of uh, things I've kind of you know done for myself which hopefully will help you guys. Um, you know I've kind of um, mapped out you know, the next six months just to see exactly where I want to be and what things I want to do, where I want to grow within my career. And um, I've now actively started sort of seeking out help and support from the people who would help me to achieve this goal. And how I do that, I just pretty much, you know, stay, you know, on LinkedIn, reading a lot of content on there. Um, I spend some time, you know, getting onto new social groups. I mean, there's so many new social groups now that are encouraging you know people to talk about what they do in their businesses or what sort of careers they're in and especially if you're a student in 2021 you know just getting your assignments done um getting a good grade is just not going to cut it alone you now have to think further into the future than you would have if say you know we were in a totally different scenario now you have to think about how can you start placing yourself at a at a position of advantage before you leave university let people know who you are what you want to do before you leave university so that it just becomes a continuous conversation when you then leave university and you've graduated um a lot of people are actually you know um getting you know a lot of traction in their career growth while they're still in a uh, university and some of the things that we're doing as grad prentice is we are going out to universities and we've literally been working with middlesex university um and we've done uh or we're actually planning a competition that hopefully will start in march where the design students will design a creation of their own something that they can actually put out there in industry that can be looked at and that can actually compete with other designs um they will also um be able to market themselves as you know design students who've done something that can actually go out into the world and be useful be commercialized and these are the things that you know getting yourselves involved in when you find out about them is really key because whatever's going to happen after such a competition what you've done is you've exposed yourself and you've really engaged yourself in a process that you potentially will get into when you go into a, a new career or you start a new job and there will be someone out there who will know about you or you've done something you know amazing someone can actually you know google you find you on social media and see you know the kind of stuff you've done that is really real and that is practical and that shows your engagement so really getting engaged is key and engagement is something that will keep you focused on your goal having a plan with it will help you even more so that you are you are focused and you know exactly where you're going and yeah i think that's 2021 is going to be an amazing time for collaborations talk to people who are in the same scene as you talk to people who are in the same careers go to recruiters you know hiring managers whoever you find will help you to take that next step to growth i think that will be a really 
good thing to do in 2021. So Sam, what do you think? What are your ideas around staying engaged and trying to grow your career? Yeah, I mean, I completely agree with everything you just said, really. I mean, I know from a personal perspective, you know, setting up turnheads and getting turnheads off the ground, I, there's no way I would have been able to get to where I am at the moment um, without collaborating with people I mean yourselves included at, at Grad Prentice I mean you know pushing each other and and kind of you know going live every Wednesday we were obviously very kind of freaked out at the beginning and we were kind of like didn't really want to do it but knew we had to yeah. <laughs> so yeah. just having those other people to kind of bounce off of and kind of laugh about it and you know do it together and share your experiences has just been so so good and it it kind of gives you that kick up the bum that I think you need sometimes to just get on with it and do something that you're maybe nervous about doing or you've never done before and you don't really know how to take that first step so yeah I mean lockdown has kind of sucked a lot for a lot of people um and it's made us very isolated but I have found that the online the kind of community response that um I've been able to get and 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 the the kind of feedback as well from from people that I've never met before I've never spoken to before and you just um yeah just reaching out and just starting that conversation has just been so so helpful um and I think learning as well I mean um a third year Brunel student um Patrick he actually wrote a blog for Turnheads um about kind of like little top-up courses that are really good for students and things like that so you know if you're looking at your portfolio and you think um there's there's a project that you really like but maybe there's a certain aspect of it that isn't quite strong enough or you kind of is maybe bringing down the project in some way um you know just just kind of think I'll, maybe I'll just do a quick course on this that or the other and and kind of brush up your skills to bring it up to scratch a little bit more and um you know, it's, it's just all those little things, all those little kind of goals and those little tasks that you can kind of set yourself um, and follow through on as well. That's that's the thing. It's like, yeah, everyone can write a list, but <laughs> if you don't do it, then nothing's changed. So, um, and again, I think collaboration can really, really help with that because, you know, you can come together and set each other goals. And it's almost like now I've told another person about it. There's that extra kind of pressure to actually do it and get on with it um and I do think that's really really helpful and supportive at the same time so yeah definitely join join forums join join networks and and just start conversations yeah no definitely I think that whole accountability piece that you just spoke about having people accountable too that will always ask you so have you actually done that blog have you actually created, you know, that design that you said you've been so mad about? Or, you know, have you started looking into that career that you've always wanted to? I mean, that will always remind you that there is a way of, you know, reminding you that you just need to do something about it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, really collaborating. Don't don't keep yourself in, in, in the dark in terms of keeping your 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 passions, your aspirations. In, in your mind, you know, mm -hmm. I think we do that a lot. I used to yeah. do that a lot, keep it in my mind. And then you end up not actually doing anything about it. So yeah, collaborating, talking about your ideas to different people will only inspire you and even give you, you know, a direction and people will start steering you without you even realizing. So totally, Sam, I, I totally agree. And, um, you know, we look forward to having, you know, another conversation very similar to this, hopefully to help you steer your way in 2021. I don't know if Sam, you've got anything else to add? Um, yeah, no, I just, yeah, reiterating again, I think just, yeah, set those goals, book, book those meetings in, book those catch ups with your friends in to talk about what you've done this week. <laughs> set that <laughs> deadline for yourself so that you are accountable for it. Um, and yeah, lean on each other, lean on each other. Definitely. And thank you very much all uh, for joining us and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>